Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking magnify effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you need to have here is you need to have your magnifying glass. Now we've created this in the previous tutorial so if you don't have this you can either watch that tutorial or you can go and download some magnifying glass assets from online. The only thing that you have to worry about is you have to make sure that the lens is on its own layer. So if you're using uh, the previous tutorial what you need to do is you need to highlight and hold shift on all of those circle pieces come over to your pathfinder tool press divide and then separate those layers if you're working on a downloaded asset just make sure that your lens is on a separate layer once you have that then you can take it into after effects so once you're in after effects you need to come over here to create a new composition 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine um, for 10 seconds that should be all right we will create a background by creating a new solid. I'm just going to call it a background. And then I'm just going to come over here and grab my gradient ramp uh, effect. So all I need to do is come and grab my colors from color hunt and import them into my gradient ramp. So now I have my colors from color hunt and all I have to do is just click on them and then pick whichever colors that I like. So I'm going to go for a lighter one just like that. Then I can get rid of it. The next thing that we need to do is we need to import our magnifying glass. So I'm just going to come over here to import file and I'm just going to import it as the composition and I'm just going to press OK. So now I can drag that to my timeline. Now that's looking pretty good but I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the pan behind tool and this is very important and you need to move that anchor point into the middle of the magnifying glass so it doesn't have to be perfect but try get it as close to the middle as possible the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to double click into my magnifying glass and i'm just going to on my lens layer hit t on my keyboard for opacity and just bring it down to about 50 percent so now i've got a little bit of a see-through layer there so the next thing that I need to do is I'm just going to come over here and grab some text and I'm just going to write um, the magnify effect. So the font that I'm using is uh, Sun Valley and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over to my align tools and I'm just going to align it to the middle of the screen. Then I'm going to put the text underneath the magnifying glass. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to come over here and create a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I'm going to look for an effect called magnify. And so I'm just going to double click that and then I'm going to bring it to my uh, composition. And you can see what's happening here already. It's already magnifying that section uh, there of that text. So what we need to do is we need to basically move that by coming over here and moving this to the center of the lens. Now, once you put it inside the middle of the lens, it's very hard to see because of the gradient. So what we are going to do is we're just going to take off uh, that lens layer just so that we can see that where that effect is going for now. So like I said, it doesn't have to be that perfect, but you want to try to get it as, uh, as centered as possible. So once you have it centered, then you can increase the size and you don't want to go too far into the actual lens. So have a play around with it until you're happy with it. And once you're happy with it, then we can move on to the next thing. So the next thing is we need to now parent that magnifying glass to the position keyframe um, in the actual magnifying glass. So we need to make sure that we press P on our keyboard for position on the magnifying glass and then we need to go into our effects on the magnify and we need to hold ALT on the center and then what happens here is it opens up the expression window. Now we're not going to write anything but what we are going to do is we are going to grab the this thing over here all right, and we are going to pick whip it to the position. All right, now if you've done this correctly, it, everything will move together on the magnifying glass. And you can see there, now they both are moving together, which is exactly what I want. 
There's one last effect we are going to add to the adjustment layer and that's the bulge effect. So all we need to do is come over here and search for bulge and then just double click it and add it to the adjustment layer. Now you can see what's happened here. Another circle has popped up. So all we need to do is just move that back into the middle of the um, of the magnifying glass and again you just have to try and center it the best that you can and then once you've done that you can then bring it to its original size now it doesn't have to go all the way but just as long as it covers the majority of that magnifying glass now you'll see what that looks like in a second but the next thing that we need to do is we need to do the same thing for the bulge center we need to hold alt click on the stopwatch and then we need to grab that and drag it to the position as well now that will all be connected so if I click V for selection on my magnifying glass layer and then move it across you can see what is actually happening there the text is now starting to bulge and so you don't want it to go too far into the sides of the magnifying glass so if you need to adjust it you can but if you want to go back to um, the adjustment layer and change any of that bulge settings. So for example, if you want to change the bold, uh, the bulge height, you can see what's actually happening here. But again, you know, you want to be careful of stuff like that. So you might have to increase the size. So if we bring that up to about 140, So once you're happy with your bulge effect, I'm just going to bring it back down to maybe let's say 1.2. Once you're happy with that, then the final thing that we need to do is we just need to add some animation for the actual uh, magnifying glass. So what we are going to do is I'm just going to come over here to my timeline. I'm going to move to the, the starting point of my timeline. I'm going to click on the position keyframe. Well, well firstly, I'm going to press R for rotation and I'm just going to rotate it a little bit and then I'm going to press P for position and I'm going to click on the stopwatch and then I'm just going to move it off the screen I then I'm going to move it forward in time let's say one second till about there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward to about let's say four seconds and we'll move over the text and then the final bit is to just send it off the screen. So something like that. So now if we play that, it comes in and then it goes over the text uh, slowly and then it comes out. So we can fancy up these uh, keyframes by right clicking on these and going into easy ease. And then we can play around with some of the graph editor settings so what you want to do is you want to create a nice little peak in the middle for the exit and entry of the magnifying glass and we'll leave the middle just like that so now it's going to kind of zip in and then it goes over the text fairly slowly and then it will zip out so that's looking cool so the other thing that we can do is we can add a rotation keyframe to this as well so I'm just going to press U on my keyboard for all my positions, but I want to get to about one second and then I'm going to press R for rotation. I'm going to click on the stopwatch and then I'm going to move forward in time to about four seconds and I'm just going to rotate that. Um, I'm just going to rotate that magnifying glass to the other side. So now what happens is it comes in and then it starts to rotate and then it zips out so now again we can easy ease these keyframes in and if we play that back so now it's looking pretty cool and if that rotation is too far which it is I'm just going to bring it down to about something like that yeah we can leave it as something like that so anyways that's about it for today's lesson. That's the magnifying effect. It's fairly simple to do. Anyways, I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.